Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So believe it or not, Chrome is turning 15 this month, which means in September of 2008, Google launched Chrome for the first time. And as many of you will know by now, Chrome is the most used browser worldwide. Now, to celebrate this birthday, Google has said they are giving Chrome a fresh look on desktop and rolling out a few upgrades. And that fresh look um, is what I have been posting on over the last couple of months called the Chrome UR Refresh for 2023. And if you want um, more info regarding that new look, I will leave that Chrome UR Refresh 2023 playlist in the end screen of this video. Now, in the coming weeks, um, Google says Chrome will get a new look on desktop. So I would suggest that next week with version 117, and version 118 rolling out a couple of weeks after that, we will see a lot more of the Chrome UR refresh changes making their way into the stable version, which to some degree or the other have already made their way into the stable. But I think we're going to see a whole lot more of these visual redesign changes now over the next coming weeks and making their way into stable. Now to give us a good idea as what to expect, we're going to head over to Chrome Canary version 118, which is the latest preview version. And to some extent, all the other um, Chrome Canary now carries most of the visual redesign changes that I think will be rolling out to the stable version over the next coming weeks. Now, Google has said that um, this is based on their Material U uh, design language, as I have been posting. And they've refreshed Chrome's icons. So just to do a quick recap regarding some of these features. So the icons in the toolbar, as an example, and the navigation pane have all been upgraded. They've also created a new color palette. So if we head over to Customize Chrome, they've created a new color palette that better complements your tabs and toolbar. And um, these new themes and distinct colors can also help you uh, distinguish between your profiles like your work and your personal accounts. And over and above that, they've also integrated uh, the browser better with the operating system. So um, your Chrome preferences can easily adapt to OS level settings like your light, your dark, and your system default themes and settings, which I think is a nice move. And you'll also notice if we head to the main menu, some other improvements that make it easier to use Chrome, like a more comprehensive menu for faster access to your uh, extensions, uh, Google Translate, and also your Google Password Manager. And also we get um, a menu entry now and options and settings now that make it better to manage your profile and your account and so at the end of the day what this all means basically is that um, the new google chrome design is also more modern than the previous version so if we head back to the stable version especially when it comes to the toolbar and the top of the browser and the menus we can see um, if we head back to canary now that things are a little bit more modern especially the menu and of course we get those that iconography that's here to the left of all the menu entries as I have been posting on. And we also get um, the font size and spacing has also been increased in the main menu and the menu. So the padding is a lot better uh, for touchscreen devices and also for those who have a visual, have, are visually impaired as an example. And the toolbar has also been simplified with fewer buttons and controls. And this also makes the browser look and feel more streamlined. And then over and above the kind of... Um, visual changes that Google has made. They've also made upgrades to safe browsing. So if we just head over to our settings and we head over to privacy and security, head over to the security page, safe browsing is a feature that's built into uh, Google Chrome as many, of you, as many of you will know. So Google has said now regarding upgrades to safe browsing, uh, to block these dangerous sites um, the moment they launch, they are upgrading safe browsing, so it will now check sites against Google's known bad sites in real time. By shortening the time between identification and prevention of threats, Google says they expect to see 25% improved protection from malware and phishing threats. And this update, as mentioned, regarding this Chrome UI refresh for 2023 is going to be rolling out in the coming weeks. And then over and above that, um, which is also part of this announcement by Google, as I have posted previously, the Chrome Web Store, just on a side note, is also getting a new experience. So as I've posted previously, and I'll leave this video for the Chrome Web Store improvements and the new experience down below if you want more info, but just a quick recap. You can test now by clicking on try out the new experiences in the old Chrome Web Store. 
uh, which now takes you over to the new Chrome Web Store where you've got a whole visual redesign and a new layout and so on, which I actually think is a nice move. But as mentioned, that video will be down below. So Google Chrome is 15 years, years old this month. And as mentioned, version 117 and I think version 118, they're going to carry a lot more of those visual redesign changes. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.